Oh, hey there. Do you like having your machine banged up? Well, we sure don't. That's why at Super ATV, we came up with these heavy duty Nerf bars for the Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. And today, we're gonna show you how super easy they are to get installed. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is getting a drill bit big enough to where it's going to fit our eight millimeter hardware through the frame. So the frame has about a six millimeter hole. We're going to drill it out to eight. So easiest way, we just took our drill bit, laid it up there. We know this is going to be big enough drill bit. So this first hole here on the driver's side is threaded to where you're going to be using a self tapper. So you're not going to want to drill this out big enough to where these screws will go through it. You just want to get it drilled enough to where you can get your self tapper started. So we're gonna drill this hole, this hole, this hole, as well as this hole out to eight millimeters. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this installation. I prefer to remove the skid plate. That way I can just reach my hands right up to the frame. That way I can get my hardware started. Now, if you don't want to remove your skid plate, you can go to the inside of the machine, remove your seats, and you can reach down. But like I said, I personally believe it's a little bit easier to do it this way. So we have our holes drilled. Like I said, we're gonna be installing the Nerf bar by removing the skid plate. So I'm just gonna be able to reach back here and start my hardware. I'm gonna start with the front portion of the Nerf bar. I'm gonna take my hardware that's provided in the kit. This will be the non-self-tapping bolt in the kit. I'm just gonna drop it right through the hole just like that to where it sticks out. We're gonna take one of our spacers, slide it on, come up here, and slide our bolt right through the frame. Then come to the back side. We're gonna get our nut. Go ahead and get it started. Just like that. Then we'll take our self-tapping bolt that's provided in the kit, as well as a spacer. Come up here to the front hole, slide our hardware through. Install our spacer, and then we're just gonna flip this up to get it lined up. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our self-tapping bolt started. We got it started there. It's not fully tightened yet because we haven't got this rear portion on, but we can still kind of manipulate it around a little bit if we need to. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our hardware for the rear portion or the rear portion of the Nerf bar here. Again, I like to start with the center bolt. So we'll drop the center bolt through, grab our spacer, slide it on, and take our Nerf bar. Lay it up in the place, take one of our nuts, get it started. So it'll kind of lay there like that. And we're just gonna repeat the same exact steps. We're only gonna be using the threaded bolts, not the self tappers for th these three holes back here. So we'll get our spacer. Slide it through. So now that we have all our hardware started, what I like to do is get this piece, remove the hardware out of it, and we're gonna go ahead and couple the Nerf bars together and then fully tighten all the hardware. So we're just gonna take the lower portion of our clamp, get it lined up, just kind of pull the Nerf bar together here, then just start our hardware. 
in the clamp. And we'll just start running it down. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fully tighten all of our hardware. Now we're gonna take the end cap as well as the biggest Allen you're gonna have in the kit. And we're gonna thread it into the end of the Nerf bar right here. So the installation procedure on this side will be identical to the opposite side minus the hardware. So for these two, first two holes here, what we're gonna be using is our self-tapping screws. And for these second two sets of holes, they will be our threaded screws that utilize our nylock nuts. On this farthest back one, we'll use a self-tapper. So once you have your Nerf bars installed and your hardware is fully tightened, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's heavy duty Nerf bars on this Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Be sure to check the description for a link to pick your Nerf bars up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.